Hi, this is James from Square Internet with another WordPress tutorial. In this short video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can point your domain name somewhere else. I was actually in the process of doing another tutorial video on how to install WordPress, and I thought this would be a good, useful video tutorial to do because it covers a common issue that I have to resolve working with small business websites, and it's something that I get asked from time to time by business owners. So in this video tutorial, I've got my domain wpwootutorials.co.uk that I've just purchased to do some more video tutorials on. And I just want to show you how you can have your domain one place and your website somewhere else and make it work. So if I wanted to keep my domain in GoDaddy, because that's a good cheap place to purchase domains and it's easy to use, but I wanted to host my website in SiteGround, for example, because I like SiteGround as a hosting company, to do that, I would need to point the A record of this domain to the IP address of my SiteGround hosting account. It might sound complicated, but it's um, actually fairly easy if you can get your head around it. So all that you would need to do for your domain to follow this process is to access the DNS management section of your particular domain. If you use a company like GoDaddy, this is really simple to do. It's well signposted. The majority of domain companies, you will be able to access the DNS management of your domain. If you can't, then I suggest maybe moving it elsewhere because um, this is something you should really be able to do. So I've got my A record here for my WP Woo tutorials. And all that I would need to do is edit where this is pointing to. So right now it's parked, so it's not doing anything. It's just sitting in GoDaddy. But if I wanted to point this somewhere else, say a SiteGround hosting account, that hosting account within the cPanel would give me an IP address, which is something um, it's worth mentioning just quickly. So to actually grab that destination, i.e., you know, my domain's here, I want it to go there, the easiest way to do that is to just grab the IP address of the hosting account. And you can get this from the cPanel. If you use a hosting provider that uses cPanel, and I would advise that you would because it's the industry standard and it's easy to use. You'll be able to find the IP address of your hosting account in the top left of your cPanel when you log in. So if I wanted to point this now to my SiteGround hosting account, I would just type in uh, 10 numbers to make up the IP address. So it could be, you know, 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, something like this. Hopefully my math doesn't embarrass me now. One, two, three, four, what have I got there? Uh, three, two, five, seven, eight, nine, ten numbers. So you'd input your IP address. Um, these little boxes here, TTL stands for time to live. It's set to custom right now, 600 seconds. Um, so it means that when I click save on this, theoretically, if nothing goes wrong, within 600 seconds, the domain will be pointing to SiteGround. Um, and if there's a website built on SiteGround attached to your domain there, it will work. So just to explain that simply for you, within cPanel, to make this work, you would need to add WP Woo Tutorials as an add-on domain. Even though the domain is sitting here, you'd add it as an add-on domain within your new hosting account so that SiteGround knows what's going on on their end. And then install your website, set it up, as you'd like it within SiteGround. When it's all ready to go, you can come back here, click the points to and save. And if you've done everything correctly, it should resolve correctly and your new website will be displaying when people visit this domain. But the domain will still be sitting in GoDaddy over here. So just to walk through the steps simply again, you need to find your domain, access the DNS management, access the A record, a list of records here, and point it to the IP address of where you want the domain to go. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you've got any questions about it, or if it's gone over your head perhaps, or if it's something that you're struggling with, please just let me know, drop me a comment, or send me an email if it's something you need help with. And if I can, I'd be more than happy to help. Hopefully you found this video useful, and make sure you do subscribe, because I'm going to be creating a lot more regular content, video tutorials on WordPress, WooCommerce, and how you can better use these tools for your small business. 
Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you on the next video.